so we get uh, a carboxylic acid back uh, as we react the acyl chloride with water and HCl is also eliminated. So uh, this is a condensation reaction because these two combine to eliminate HCl. Now uh, we can uh, now if we look at the example of NH3, we again get HCl. So we know that whenever we react an acyl chloride with something, we uh, with just which contains hydrogen we will always get HCl back. So in most cases, we are releasing HCl. Uh, in the second case, when an acyl chloride reacts with ammonia, we get an amide. This is called an, um, this is called a, called an amide group. The CONH2, it is displayed as CO. Uh, I'll make a better one. This is displayed as... Uh, This group is displayed as CO and H and here we have another H so this is NH2 so and this is and this is the rest of the molecule so uh, it's an amide we will be discussing more about amides when we do uh, when we do organic nitrogen compounds I'll be doing a video on this very soon on organic nitrogen compounds so we will be doing amides very soon but what we need to do know is that uh, when the uh, when acyl chlorides combine with water we get the carboxylic acid back when acyl chlorides combine with ammonia we get an amide and we and in both cases we have hcl released hydrogen chloride released so both of these follow the nucleophilic substitution mechanism i'll be doing a video on that too when I do uh, AS level organic chemistry but for now we need to know that it follows nucleophilic substitution and uh, the chlorine is eliminated okay so and acyl chlorides are very reactive again and now that we are talking about the reaction of acyl chlorides with water uh, let me tell you that this is a hydrolysis reaction because whenever we are reacting this and getting an OH group for example in this case we get from COCl we get COOH so whenever we get OH group this reaction is called hydrolysis uh, whenever we get an OH group over here and uh, let's discuss the ease of hydrolysis between different compounds so let's compare between an acyl chloride and an alkyl halide so for example we have propanoyl chloride which is this, uh, which is this, CH3CO2COCl, and we have one chloropropane. So we have CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl. So this is one chloropropane. Now, the ease of hydrolysis of these two compounds, if we have to compare, then the Acyl chloride will hydrolyze faster than one chloropropane. Why? Because the extra oxygen, which is, uh, let me draw it again, the extra oxygen also withdraws lone uh, electrons from the carbon atom and the chlorine atom also withdraws electrons from the carbon atom. So this has a high delta positive charge, high delta plus charge, and hence it is more susceptible to attack by nucleophiles. However, in this case, we, don't, we do not have, in the case of one chloropropane, we do not have that extra oxygen. So the carbon atom which is attached to the chlorine, this one, does not have that higher delta positive charge. And uh, because it does not have that higher delta positive charge, uh, it is not easily attacked by nucleophiles and hence it will hydrolyze slowly. But acyl chlorides will hydrolyze fast. So you need to know the rates of reaction. You need to know the difference in the rate of reaction. So you need to learn this, what I just said. Now I'm going to erase this and we can move further. So before that, uh, yeah, I just forgot. Uh, we can also compare the ease of hydrolysis to. So now I'll just, let me do one thing. Let me make all of these over here. So I have chlorobenzene. This is chlorobenzene. 
benzene molecule attached to a Cl atom. And we have 